Hi, hello. Welcome back. The plant vlogs are officially back and welcome to the first plant vlog of 2022. So exciting. So I think I'm going to, I think I can manage to do um, two plant vlogs a month. I think that's doable for me. Anyways, hi, hello. I'm Marina, that one girl that likes to talk a lot about houseplants and welcome to Millennial Planter. are starting off the new year right and I am finally just going to go for it and give my plant room my makeshift plant room the facelift it's been needing as you can see behind me I don't have many plants in here and as you saw in the first clip and that's because this vent this is a pretty small room and for some reason the one heat vent that is in here just takes up so much moisture and it really just a lot of plants don't like it in here, so the plants that are in here are the ones that somehow manage to not mind the dry air. Um, I still don't want to get a humidifier, honestly. I just don't want to spend money on a humidifier. So if a plant is struggling, I would just move it back downstairs in my living room where most of my collection is, or I will move it into my room. But today I am going to get my lighting situation finally set up. I have this really bright, ugly garage light here that's like off to the side. I've gone to this metal shelf and it's not very appealing and the light is just very off-centered since all my plants are here. So ideally I wanted to get, I wanted to hang some sort of light down from the ceiling and actually Housebright reached out to me and wanted me to do a little unboxing of their light and it's really perfect because this is the exact type of light I wanted. So I was happy to do that for them but this is an LED bulb essentially so you need something to install it with and I have a long cable that I'm going to hang from the ceiling but it came super well packaged I got this uh, I think the day before Christmas um, it took a little bit to ship out but that was fine it came during the holidays so that's kind of expected but look at how cute that light is I think this light is going to be really good and yeah there we go you can just screw it in to a regular socket and it comes covered which is really good for packing and traveling and yeah we'll test this light out in a bit but i think it's going to do great i'm also going to be setting up my prop bin here putting some grow lights here at the bottom and just kind of putting plants in here that need the extra humidity mainly propagations probably uh just something that i can't fit into my grow tent and i had this set up for a while my little prop bin and my plants were really loving it the plants that i had in there did really phenomenal and i have some hoya that can use the extra humidity right now and i know they'll do really great in there and hopefully grow really fast and really well so let's get this party started i guess uh, it's not really a party i'm kind of dreading it I'm not even going to lie, I'm going to uh, kind of hang this light in not so aesthetically pleasing of a way because I don't want to put holes in my ceiling. I already have enough holes in my wall that I have to patch up whenever we move from this house and I don't want to have to worry about finding a ceiling beam and drilling into the beam and then patching up that ceiling hole when I move. So essentially what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this... Um, shelf holder I don't even know what these are called and I'm just going to hang it like install it to the very very top of the ceiling like where the ceiling and the wall meet and then I will hang the light off of this <laughs> we'll see if this works okay I got my marks I know you can't see it but I got my marks where my um drill is gonna go my the nails are gonna go this is gonna be really hard because I'm really short even standing on a chair, oh, goodness, okay, we can do this, we can do this. <laughs> and just like that, we're halfway done. <sighs> that was a lot of work. I, <laughs> like always, messed up the hole. I just put it too far apart from each other, so then the little hook thingy didn't go in all the way, and then I had to re-drill the hole. 
And you know, it's not even in all the way right. <laughs> Like it's crooked, there's the extra wall mount, I'm too lazy to take out. Uh, you know, and it might move a little bit. But <laughs> this is why we're not a home improvement channel. Definitely recommend checking out some of Harley G's videos because she has ways to properly mount and install stuff on her videos, not me. I'm just gonna stick with the plants, but <laughs> This is the cable I was talking about that I'm going to hang from there so that the light can hang down and then we can get rid of this ugly setup here. So let's do that. And there's also pest control here. Um, I guess for my neighbors, there's like three vans outside and they can definitely all see me through this window. It's great. It's great. Okay, so the wire is officially attached, as you can see. Now we're going to plug in the light and see how bright house bright bulbs actually are. Oh, it's so cute. All right, so here's the final reveal. It's definitely bright. Like, it's even lighting up this area here. So we will see. Maybe I will lower it down just a little bit more. But it's pretty cool. We'll see if the plants actually like it. I am just so ready to get rid of this setup there. And I do still have that wire to take care of. I don't know how, but I would like to put it along the ceiling. And it comes all the way down here. So um, I don't even want to deal with that though right now. It is really hot up in this room. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's super cute. And I didn't even show y'all, but this is one of our trellises from Tray Leaf that I had to install for a reel. And I just love the way it looks. I'll have this pothos eventually climbing up the whole thing and it's gonna look really cute. And I just like having this whole wall decked out with like art pieces. So I have another embroidery hoop I need to bring up. And I don't know, I just, I need to fill it out more with some more stuff. And I need to put plants back up in here. Now that I have this light, I won't have to worry about plants not getting any light here. But yeah, it's super cute. Definitely still a work in progress. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with the light for now. I'll share updates when we get them. <laughs> I just had to drop everything that I was doing to show you guys this because I don't know how I missed this, but apparently my anthurium bakery is like fruiting right now. Like, uh, uh, what? let me show you. <laughs> Okay, so here she she here she sits. She's not big at all. She has about like four leaves, but look at that! Like that is a legit berry. So I don't. I clearly missed this. Well, oh, first of all, <laughs> let's just not pay attention to the shape, okay? <laughs> like that has that did not go over my head. But um, our let's just get our minds out of the gutter for a second. Um. I, I clearly missed the flower. It was a cl it was a small flower, um, and it self pollinated somehow. And now it's I'm pretty sure this means that it's pollinated, and this will become a seed at some point. I'm pretty sure. I am not versed in in pollination at all, especially in therium pollination. But from what I've seen, like I've seen people wait until they get almost white like these berries get almost white and then you can pick them off and plant them and you know it's essentially a seed but wow i i, I look at these plants all the time and i watered this plant not even that long ago probably two or three days ago what my mind is blown y'all like can you tell i'm still in shock holy crap that's crazy my only guess is that maybe I saw it and I thought it was a root because, I mean, a flower that small kind of would look like a anthurium area root because the aerial roots are like really thick and white and chunky. Uh, I don't know, but that's that's crazy. I'm I'm shooketh. So we might have some bakery seeds soon, which is so exciting. Oh my gosh! Wow. Okay, I guess back to the plant room. <laughs> okay, this video is like all over the place. Um, Sorry about that, but it is a plant vlog. So I just wanted to quickly share my first plant purchase of 2022, which is funny because I was just talking about how I want to do a lot of trades, but this plant was only 
ten dollars it uh so i did a tour actually of ara's place um i will leave that link down below if you want to check it out but this is actually a ficus that has been in her collection since this past summer i think and it is so pretty um unfortunately mine came a little smushed in the mail uh, but it's totally fine. I really recommend looking up what the plant actually looks like. They have these really big, pillowy, beautiful leaves. Kind of like this. But, um, yeah. It just got smushed in the truck during delivery, which is totally fine. I just really hope that I can rehab this and like it'll acclimate well like it's still really healthy and she takes really good care of her plants so it should as long as i do everything okay it should bounce back just fine uh so i'm not worried about like the smushed foliage at all i'm so excited and then it was only ten dollars like i couldn't say no i couldn't um she found this plant actually at a pike's nursery which is even cool i've never seen these this ficus embolata at Pike, so I'm so excited. And I only have one ficus, which is my burgundy. Now that I think about it, I did kill my ficus, my fiddle leaf fig, my ficus lorata. But anyways, hopefully it'll be like my burgundy and it'll be A++ and once spring comes, I will just throw her outside and I know she will thrive. So I just gotta make it to spring. <laughs> but yeah, my first plan of 2022, oh, I'm so excited. Uh, I'm really excited for this one. I got my prop bin set up over here. So I'll do a tour of what I put in there in a little bit. I'm still adding plants, um, but I added um, a couple Hoyas, a couple Philodendrons, and maybe I could somehow put this one in here. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I will um, get back to you guys in a few it's officially the next day i have more plants in here i got my little prop in all set up got lots of hoya in there i got my grow tent all set up um moved some more plants in there check out this new leaf on my mexicanum ah it's so big for winter growth i'm so proud of you she's a beast here is my prop box up close i ended up moving a whole bunch of hoyas i have my silver sword abella verticulata svetlana svetlana if all goes according to plan i'll be propagating her and sending her off to somebody really cool soon um my variegated obovata splash. Since I just cut it, I figured I would just put it in some higher humidity so I can recuperate. I have two Callistophyllas, my light Megalaster that has been kind of on the struggle bus. Don't know what's going on with her. Um, that is my Splendid. I cut up and <laughs> am propagating. No roots yet, so hopefully she does something soon. My Hoya Carii that I broke in my last video. I was so mad, but Hoya Carii so far only grows in a really humid environment for me. I have this Philodendron Atom I got at a Secret Santa. I got first Secret Santa, and apparently it's a Philodendron a lot of people struggle with. Um, the person who sent it to me was telling me. Uh, so, and I, I am no different. It dropped so much leaves since it's been here. So hopefully it likes it here, especially in the higher humidity. But it's a really cute plant. I definitely recommend looking it up. And let's see, I have my pseudo something Hoya right down there. And this is a Hoya Memoria. That is a propagation that I um, just recently pot up. The tendril dried out. That top part there is completely dried out. So I've noticed like Hoya definitely like humidity the most when they are first like starting out as cutting. So if you have a baby Hoya, definitely recommend putting it in some sort of like high humidity place until it grows a few more leaves and it gets a nice healthy tendril, then it should be nice and good. And yeah, this is the final overview of everything for now. I'm going to be getting rid of my money tree. I'm gonna give it to my mom just cause she's always wanted one. And with all that Southern exposure she gets in her room or in her living room, I know it's gonna do great there. And I wanna fill out these parts. I just don't know what to put here. I'm about to buy like a whole bunch of snake plants and put down there or something. I don't know yet, but yeah, it's super cute. Can't wait to add more artwork up there. 
and I really just like the way everything is set up. Okay, so I'm officially wrapping it up, this this plant vlog. My first plant vlog of 2022. Woo -woo. Um, it contained a lot of things, actually. Uh, but thanks for sticking it out with me and checking out this new plant room facelift, I guess. I don't know. Um, I'm really happy with the way everything is situated. I will leave a um, code down below for that house bright light that I'm using. Um, I think it's going to be really great. Uh, I will share updates as I have them, but right now it's like really bright, phenomenal packaging. So if you're looking for a grow light right now, I will leave the link in the description down below. But as always, I hope you're all staying safe, staying happy and healthy. Definitely hit the subscribe button, join the plant community if you haven't yet. I would absolutely love that and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!